So, it's me, the one and only Scott the Sun. Um, so, one of the most important things in life is your relationship with those around you. Most of us, I shouldn't even say most because I don't even know what the actual number is. The, well, I, I'd be inclined to say the most of us because our population is increasing. So most of us um, become entranced by someone. Most of us bring someone into our lives because we have so much joy and happiness with them. Much fun, enjoyment. I have someone in my life who is an amazing person. She's funny. She's very appealing to me, both physically and mentally, and moralistically. That's an important factor for me, because our son that we um, gave life to needs a mom and a dad who are strong, morally, moralistically. I'm here today to talk about relationships, um, maybe a little bit about jealousy, a bit about, um, you know, I guess the do's and don'ts. Um, jealousy is something that can be avoided. Um, it can be inevitable for most. Um, but I think in order to help understand how to avoid jealousy or, you know, giving, giving into fears that um, you might not, you know, be able to, to keep someone in love with you, um, it's really simple, actually. It's simple in the, in the terms that... Um, You have to understand that you, yourself, as an individual, there's two things actually. First, you are a magnificent human being. I'm a magnificent human being. She's a magnificent human being. If that wasn't the case between her and I, for instance, we wouldn't be together because we wouldn't be attracted to that person, right? To avoid jealousy, you, I'm, I'm pulling this quote from a, uh, a motivational speech that I've, I've listened to, and it says that, it's about success in general, but I'm applying it to relationships, you know, intimate ones, that you should always act like you're second best, and you're trying to get to be number one that you're not quite there yet, that you don't get comfortable. If you get comfortable, and this has happened to me, it's happened to us, I got comfortable. I became dang near stagnant. And so I woke up this morning in a stupor. I was, I was cold, I was sweating, my heart was racing. And I was just like, you know, I miss her. And she was laying right next to me. I miss her. I love her. I miss, you know, getting out and just being outside with her. We went to the park the other day, took our son, a family friend's uh, daughter, and we had fun. It was good to get out. We were a little pressed for time because we were doing something else that night, but it was still good to even be out for like 30 minutes at the park, which is something we haven't done yet with our son. He's almost a year old already. Um, 
What I'm getting at, though, is you have to understand that you... And I'm going to talk to the guys, because I'm not a woman. I can't really, like, give too much advice to women other than from a guy's perspective. Gentlemen, you must, if you want someone, if you're with someone, you have to act, and I'm not saying like falsely, don't, don't, don't put on a false aura and be like, you know, oh, I, she's not mine, or, you know, we're not together, you know, don't, don't, don't act like that. I mean, ha have this everlasting longing to want her to be around. You want her to be around. You want her to be around all the time. Granted, everybody needs, you know, space and to do their own thing and work on something that they're trying to be successful in. But you have to treat her all the time as if... I don't want to say as if you're not together, but as if... As if... Everything can be lost in an instant. That doesn't mean you gotta be heavy about it all the time. No. You have to be natural. You gotta be... You gotta be... Yourself. A large portion of the time. But you have to keep in mind... That you want her. So what are you gonna do to keep her? What are you gonna do to... To remind her... That you love her. Saying it... That's so... Super... Now granted, you need to hear it. You should say it, but not like let that be the only thing that you do for her every day. Wake up, love you. Go to work, love you. Come back, love you. And that's it. No. Show her. Do things for her. Make her things. Take her out to dinner. In fact, make her dinner. Learn how to cook. Okay? That's something I want to do. I want to surprise the poop out of her at some point with like breakfast in bed. Not just that. Not just breakfast in bed. I, w I want to do things sneakily that she doesn't even know it's happening. And then wham! What's that? A tray in your lap in bed? Or she comes home from work? Or, or, or better yet, I go to work. I bring all these materials food materials. I I pack them, I take them to work, I at work on my lunch period, I create some sort of picnic basket. After we get off, I come home, pick, I pick her up all the way home, pick up her son, we go out. I know she likes Subway sandwiches. I'm sharing this, I'm doing this video, not necessarily for you all, whoever's listening, whoever's watching. I'm doing this for me, I'm doing this for her, us. She means a lot to me. More than, more than I can say in words, it's just... You know, I'm not. I'm not saying that everybody should like lose someone. I'd like to ask a few people who I know have been married, um, or, or I assume have been married their the entire time that they've been married and not separated at all. I should ask them if they've ever had you know rough patches. Have you ever come to terms with deciding whether or not you are not together anymore? You know, you're going to get a divorce. I should ask them. You know, the ones that have always been strong in, in my life, in my mind. See if they've ever experienced that. And if so, did being away from them, losing them, deciding to take a break or what have you, did it make you stronger? And is that why you're still together today? We've experienced that. And it will
was by far one of the most difficult things I've ever experienced in my life, and I am going to fight as if it were warfare to make sure that never happens again. I will not settle for that which I know should be. That's happiness. Everybody should be happy. Everybody should be experiencing such a magnificent time. I feel bad that I had let our relationship get to a point where I, me, my fault, let it get to a point where it became stagnant. It is not. It is not the lady's job to keep things fun and exciting. I, I truly believe that. I think the guy should really keep fighting for her. Granted, there are people who will do nothing. Women who will do nothing be, be, for whatever reason. Uh, and it just... It can kill a relationship. But... If the gentleman, the, the man, does everything in his power to keep her attention, that'll never happen. She'll never get to that point where she's not paying you any mind. I'm late for work. And you know what? I'm comfortable being late for work because... I'm working on something that's a little more important than work right now. I'm working on me. I'm working on my relationship. Jobs can come and go. She's going to be upset if she watches this. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to work. But I want to finish this. And my final statement is, act like you're always second best. There's always going to be eyes out there. There's always going to be gentlemen who are trying to get at bat. If there is not a ring on her finger, even if there is a ring on her finger, people are still going to try to do things, uh, flirt. I mean, there's things that you don't even worry about those things. It's the more serious things you should worry about if, you know, she or he lets those things happen. But have faith in your ability to do everything you can. Everything. Everything. If you're tired, don't sit down. You come home from work, you're tired. You really don't feel like doing much right then. Go into your house. Before even going into your house, ask yourself, right at the door, right before you unlock the door, what are you going to do when you get up there? And if you say, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to... Uh, Lay, I'm going to sit down, lay down on the couch, take a nap. No. You should be asking yourself, is my son asleep and will I be able to pick him up? Is my lady asleep? Am I going to be able to give her a kiss? Give her a kiss anyway if she's asleep. Let her know she's home. Or let her know you're home. Once you do those things, once you address family, hang out with them a little bit, okay? What are you going to do for the house? Do dishes need to be done? Does the trash need taken out? Does the dog need to take a poop? Is there stuff on the floor? Does it need swept? Does it need vacuumed? Is the slider door gross with dog and baby slobber? Clean it up. Ask yourself, what do you need to do to make your home which encompasses your family better. What can you do? It's it's within you, because I know it's within me. I have done so many things since my Big Bang, our Big Bang. I am a changed man, and I know that because I'm staring myself right in the face, and I'm getting chills, and I'm serious. I'm not laughing. I know what it takes. And even when I know what it takes, there's still things that are slipping through the cracks. Why? Because it's life. You're not going to do everything all the time. You can't. You, don't, don't stress over that. Okay? 
Try to do everything you can. Do everything you set out to. Don't even try. So forgive me for saying the word try. Do everything that you set out to. Understand that there is a certain amount of time in every day. And there's all you have in that day. And all you have is this moment. So in that moment, when you have a time to yourself to think about what can I do to make someone else's life better right now? What can I do to make my home better? In that moment, you should already have a list of things you don't even have to ask yourself. Make it routine. Start off with one or two things a day as you come home. Trash. Dog. First, saying hello to family, hanging out with them. 5, 10, 15, 20, half an hour, hour. Okay? Immediately, as you sense a lull period, a downtime, kid's taking a nap. Mrs. wants to go take a nap or shower because she's just got home from work. You take that opportunity to tell yourself, I'm going to shower last. I'm going to shower before I go to bed or I'll shower the next morning. Me personally, I like to shower about twice a day. Ain't going to lie. I like to be clean. Um, I didn't shave today. Okay, Things slip through the cracks. It's life. Time. Whatever time you set up to do. I didn't wake up on time today because... This was on my mind, okay? You, every single one of you, male, female, dog, you have the power to make your life what it, what you want it to be. You're the builder. You are the builder. You are the architect to your existence. There's going to be a lot of things that influence you. There's going to be a lot of things that have a sway over what it is that you do day in, day out, moment to moment. It's how you react to those things that allow you to become even greater. Find the definition of compassion. Define it for yourself. Learn to let go of what you have absolutely no control of, of and over. Do everything that you can for you and yours. Attain a sense of selflessness. Selflessness. That's a huge thing. Huge thing. You should be hungry to be selfless. It should be a constant state of discomfort when you do something for yourself. Granted, there are things you need to do for yourself. You need time. You need sleep. You need rest. You need hobbies. You need... You need you, you know. But in doing things for other people, you elevate yourself. And and people by, by elevating other people, you are elevating yourself. Not to yourself, but in the eyes of others. So essentially, which is kind of weird and wrong, if you're doing it vindictively, saying, I'm going to do something for someone because I know I'm going to look good, therein lies the negative roots to your intent. Don't fall prey to that. Selflessness means giving without expectation. I'm going to do something for you, and I expect nothing. How can you do that? Will you do that? Will you do what it is I have spoken here today, if you have someone or want someone? I bid you good luck, and I hope that my words 
and life experience has helped you understand a few things about what you either are doing, have done in the past, aren't doing currently, or for a while have been knowing that you should be doing. I'm not going to wish you good luck. If I said it, I take it back. It's within you. Tap into it. Tap into it. Get it done. This is Scott the Sun, the one and only. And I will see her on the flip side.